Hello everybody and welcome back to me Chanel and today we're going to be taking a look at the CRISPR technique for gene editing. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying my science videos as of late, but let's get right into it. CRISPR is a genetic engineering technique used in molecular biology by which the genomes of living organisms may be modified. It is based on a more simple version of the bacterial Cas9 reaction um, for their antiviral defense system. Um, so essentially, by delivering the Cas9 nucleases complexed with a synthetic guide RNA or gRNA into a cell, the cell's genome can be cut at a desired location, and, which allows existing genes to be removed or new ones to be added, um, which is pretty cool. So why is it important, you may ask? Well, the technique is considered highly significant in biotechnology and medicine, as it enables editing of genomes very precisely and cheaply. It can be used in a multitude of things like the creation of new medicine, agricultural products, and genetically modified organisms, or as a means of controlling pathogens and pests. It also has possibilities in the treatment of in like inherited genetic diseases, as well as ari arising um, diseases from like somatic mutations such as cancer even. But of course, we can't have a good product without at least somewhat of a risk of using it, even though it may sound like a, pr a pretty clever way to solve a lot of problems. However, its potential use in human genetic modification is what makes it like really controversial, which could cause a lot of problems for social divide among low income and high income societies. But apart from that, Another risk associated with this technology is the potential for off-target gene editing. So essentially, accidentally editing a gene that you didn't want to edit. And what the risk of that is, is that there currently is no medication or treatment for if those errors occur, let alone there's nothing to prevent it from happening. If I were to give my word on the risks of using the CRISPR technique, I would say that it's not easy to make a mistake with genomes that you're trying to target because I have very specific codes. So I believe if there were a mistake, it would be more on the medical side and not based on the method itself. Moving on. So how do the laboratory technicians or bioengineers use the CRISPR technique? This may seem surprising, but it's actually a lot simpler to use the CRISPR technique in the laboratory than most other um, procedures. There are many ways to do so, but I'll cover one of the big ones. The first, they decide which gene to modify. For example, if they wanted to modify the yeast that is used to brew beer. Secondly, they decide which endonuclease to use. And there are more enzymes than just Cas9, which can be used for genome engineering. For example, CPF1 is another class 2 endo um, ribonuclease that is used for um, procedures like this, as you can see down here, the class 2. Thirdly, they would design the gRNA to target the gene of interest. They would use sites like Benchling, which is one of the many useful sites that offer a free built-in gNRA design tool for this. Fourthly, they assemble a gNRA expression vector in their browser. And after that's done, they would assemble the plasmid at the bench, which will require things like an expression vector, the gRNA design, restriction enzymes to cut the expression vector, and they would have to generate the overlapping DNA sequences, reagents, and etc. to begin engineering the cells. Now, it may, it may seem complicated as to how many steps, but the steps alone are very few in comparison to like other medical procedures, which is actually very surprising. So now that I told you all of that, for today's conclusion, you have learned what the CRISPR technique is and how it works and how much potential it has in the medical industry. But most importantly, you know what the risks are. It's important to be safe for anything that has to do with medical anything. Make sure you know your own body and make sure whatever you do to yourself is safe and you're willing to take the risks. Now, thank you for watching, and I hope that was helpful.